So, it is finally time for the not-so-long-awaited sequel to the Windows 11 on a Netbook Saga. And in specific, this is the same netbook that I got a external graphics card working on. But this time around, we have Linux working on it. Now, this is being recorded long after I actually did the installation. I think I'll probably just throw up the installation process on the screen like right around now because I don't think anyone wants to watch that. Anyway, let's turn this thing on. So first, let's turn on the graphics card. So I have it just hooked up to this AT power supply. And now I turn on the laptop itself. And if you hear any weird like whining coming from the power supply, like, hold on a moment. I'm sure you can hear that. Don't worry about it, because this thing is high quality. Anyway, let's put this back up. And we are now booting into Lubuntu, which is a lightweight Linux distribution. And that should take a little bit of the load off of this poor netbook that I just will not give a break to. But... Yeah, as you'll see shortly, it really don't help much at all. <laughs> now, I probably in hindsight should have installed something even more lightweight, like maybe, I don't know, Puppy Linux for example, but... Just for the sake of being able to run as wide of a range of software out of the box as possible, I chose something that was reasonably mainstream. So, first of all, let's just do a bit of web browsing with Firefox, and this should be the latest version, or at least one of the latest versions, whatever the case is. I just know that's the version of Firefox that, once again, has yet another new interface. Yeah, like, right there, you can see. So, let's just go ahead and head on to, over to my website. And I still have not... Ah. No, ignore the updates for now. Oh, there it is. And, yeah, as you just saw there, I did already visit my website. It was not fun. The TLDR for this whole video is that, regardless of the OS, a netbook is still a netbook, and the netbook is still kind of slow. So, as far as web responsiveness goes, it's okay. Like, you can still see a little bit of stutter in the buttons. So, now if we head on over to my YouTube page, we'll do a little bit of video playback testing. So video performance is, once again, okay, but here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn down the volume a bit as well. But yeah, if you do anything on the side while the video is playing, it will lag. And right now it seems like it's defaulted to a pretty low video resolution. It's not even letting me bring out the menu right now. I'm clicking the mouse button, but it's not bringing anything up. So, yeah. YouTube playback is just barely functional, but not really all that usable. <laughs> like, functional functionality does not equal usability. So... Next up, we can just do a little bit of, let's just do, let's just open a bunch of different LibreOffice windows to simulate, I don't know, a busy office or whatever. Okay, I think that's, that'll 
be enough. It's already struggling. <laughs> okay, here's LibreOffice Draw, which is pretty much the equivalent of like PowerPoint, for example. LibreOffice Math, which is just a pretty much fancy calculator, in a sense. There's Draw. There's Writer, which is what I have the most experience in. Wow, you can type stuff on the netbook under Linux. Wow, amazing functionality. So yeah, for office tasks and stuff like that, it's definitely usable, but this is a video that I'm making and that means we have to have some Minecraft. Yeah, there we go, Minecraft launcher. Already logged in and everything, so shouldn't take too long. Oh, okay. I guess that's the video. Oops, and I bumped the tripod again. That seems to happen a lot in these videos where I just knock around the tripod for whatever reason. Anyway, seven minutes in. That's a good enough video length for me. Thanks for watching, and I might put this netbook out of its suffering. Who knows? And by that, I just mean I'll probably just put it back on the shelf to collect dust anyway. So, yeah. I have some other stuff that I might want to do work on in the future. And until next time, I'm out. See ya.